Hey guys, it's Dante Radio. Okay, so tonight's radio topic is this: sex, divorce, marriage in Japan. Yeah, sorry, sexless divorce, marriage. Okay, so、uh, I got the comment from my subscriber, and this person has friends. His friends have problem with his Japanese wife about this. So he wanna know about my opinion about sexless divorce and marriage. Let's talk about this. And tonight I had some research too, the statistics and numbers. So、um, please enjoy the numbers too. Okay. Anyway, so this channel is all about Japan, Japanese culture. So if you like Japan, please subscribe. Okay, before you watch. Onegaishimasu. Okay. Let me share the comment first, as usual. It's from Ting Li. Thank you, Li. And Li said, "Santi, thank you for putting out another qual-、uh, quality, no BS video." Yes, that's my concept. No BS. All right, I have a topic idea for you. I spoke with a couple of non-Japanese friends who are married to Japanese women, and there are common complaints among them about lack of sex for kids and refusal of Japanese wife to have a job. Would like to hear your view on these issues and on marriage and divorce in general. Thank you, Lee. Okay, so you gave me two, two topic, right? One lack of sex, and the other one is the refusal of a Japanese wife to have a job. Okay, so I did a search on each of this, and I got the one、uh, stats for each of this. Okay, so let me share you the stats、uh, stats number first, and later I wanna share my analysis. Okay. All right, first one is about.、Uh, Refusal. Refusal of Japanese wife to get a job. Okay, so I look at this number、uh, website, mynavi.com. Okay, so mynavi.com is about recruitment, also getting job, that kind of thing. Okay, website. So they have done survey. They asked twenty three years old adults. Okay, do you want to have housewife, or do you want to be housewife? Okay. So male, female, you know, they ask this question. Okay, do you want to have wife,、uh, housewife, or do you want to be housewife? All right. So、uh, question: How many percent of them they said yes? I want to have housewife, or I want to be a housewife. What do you think? All right. The answer is the male. Okay, the man. They said thirty-five percent. Thirty-five percent of them they said. I want to have housewife, okay. And about ladies, women, sixteen point seven percent. It's about seventeen percent. They said I want to be housewife. What do you think? Is too high or too low、uh, compared to your country? Let me know. I don't know. So that's a fact, okay. And then to be honest, I don't really feel because I don't have those conversations、okay, with my friends, but. That's a reality six, okay, which is twenty one. So this year, this survey, and I noticed one thing. Look at this. Can you see that? See, so towards to this twenty one this year, this one is about twenty sixteen. So numbers who said yes, kind of decrease. Can you see that? Especially from last year to this year, because of Corona, you know. They said yes, yeah. They said they said yes, kind of lower, okay. So um, so before they want to have a housewife, but now well they they they, they want to be housewife now less. So I wanted to see the longer range, okay, period of time, and I searched it. So I got one stats from the Japan Institute for Labor Policy and Training, and this uh well th- this is really good. The stats is from 1980 to 2020, 30 years. Let me show you this one. Okay, so this one, 1980, this one, 2020, right? That way, time frame. Okay, so here's the orange one, goes to, yeah, decreasing. On the other hand, the black one is increasing. Okay, yeah. So do you know which one? Which one? Which? which? Well, the orange one 
is the number of household as housewife is decrease. On the other hand, number of households that ha that don't have housewife increase. So black black line shows that you know husband wife both they work. Okay, orange one is only husband work. Okay, so it switched like that in thirty years. Mm. What do you think? Mm. So that's it. So I can see that you know the big the trend is changing okay so if <laughs> if someone from western country they might think that wow japan is good now finally you know women can work in the society whatever da, 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 da. they might say in these kind of things too but um my analysis is this so let's take a, let's think about this what happened last 30 years okay in this country well back in 1980 economic was amazing Japanese companies went overseas, they buying many properties, buildings, companies, you know, they were really strong. Japan's number one. Have you heard of this? Yeah. So uh, back in time, like top 10 country companies are uh, most of the Japanese bank, I think. So that time, everyone have money. Everyone. I still hear this kind of sto story too. Like uh, when they want to have a taxi, they throw away hundred dollars like this. Yeah, hundred dollars, about ten thousand yen, to taxi driver, like this, and they get the taxi, because everyone use taxi. Therefore, it is so difficult to get taxi. To attract taxi driver, they throw the money like this. Yeah, that was it. Those times. So, income, each house has a lot, far more than now. By the way, yeah. It uh, average income keep de decreasing, okay? Therefore, back in days, the husband that didn't need to ask wife to work. So it's like a, there's, there's a choice for wives to work or not. If you want to play tennis, go play tennis. But if you want to work for outside, go play a work outside. If you want to do part-time job at the McDonald's, do so. It's up to you. That was the time, okay? And also, I think that's some stereotype like, if you can take care of your wife, you don't have to ask her to work for money. That's kind of good money, I think. So this kind of stereotype, I think that was existing. But now, change. Last 30 years, stagnation happens, okay? Economic stagnation happens. Look, I, don't want, I love my country. You know, I'm proud of this, being Japanese. However, few things I really don't like about Japan is, one of them is government, the policy. They have done to us seriously i cannot think that they want to help us if i feel like sometimes they want to haze us you know increasing tax for no reasons seriously this is a hit a break for economy the last 30 years we had a chance to you know boost up but they didn't and average income went down compared to 1980s can you imagine that in one of the advanced countries with only one stagnations other countries went up. That's why inflation happens too. Therefore, you have to pay for what? $25 for one ramen in America or something, you know? Or in Australia. But now here, still like $8, $7 for one ramen. Very cheap. Deflation is happening. But anyway, no, sorry. No politics tonight. So uh, anyway, so last 30 years happened is the stagnation in the economy. Therefore, many company, uh, household, house, uh, households, I think they talk, you know, between house and wives, uh, husband and wives, right? They have to work to make more money, to pay bills. That's why this tendency happens, okay? That's my analysis. So let's go back to, you know, original question. So Lee, your friend said, your friend's wives, they, they don't wanna work, right? So that means they have money to survive. <laughs> so your friends, I think they make good amount, good amount of money. Otherwise, your, your friends asked, have to ask to their wives to work, to go to McDonald's, to do cashier, get a $7 an hour. You know what I mean? To survive. And the wives, unless they are really, you know, like, um, you know, they must know that, you know, I have to work to survive, you know what I mean? To support the family. But they said, I don't want to work. 
So if they can say like this, it means your friends, husband, making a lot of money, I think. That's the reality. Because again, in Japan, in this country right now, most of uh, people, they are willing to work. They have to work. Even though young kids, you know, most of them said, I don't wanna, I don't wanna have a housewife. They wanna have work, uh, a wife who works, right? That's what's happening, okay? So yeah, ask your friends, all right? Okay, so next point about sex. So you said your friends uh, complain about this, da, da, da. lack of sex. Okay, so I have the stats too for this. Interesting stats, okay? All right, this is a website called Mulet. Yeah, Mulet. So this Mulet website, they're talking about sexless, okay? And they have actual, sur actual survey. Very interesting one, let me share, okay? So 2004 to, two, 2004 to 2020. Yeah, see the bar, yeah. So 2004, the couple who are sexless, just 31%, all right? But now 2020, more than 50%, they are sexless. What do you think? 20% in last 15 years, 20%, okay, went up. And here, by the way, the definition of sexless, it says the there is no intercourse or sexual contact more than one month. That's considered as sexless, all right? Mm. That including kissing too, by the way. Interesting. Yeah, including kiss. Yeah. Cheek, whatever, kiss included, okay? okay. So more than one month, they don't have, they don't touch each other, they don't kiss each other. That's sexless, okay? Isn't it interesting? Yeah. So that's what's happened, right? All right. So this Mulet, the website, they ask those sexless couples, all right, why you don't have sex? And then the husband and wives, they answered questions. And the very interesting outcome, all right? Let's think about, talk about the husband first, Japanese man, Japanese uh, husband. What's going on to them, all right? So it says, very interesting. It doesn't mean they lost the desire. It says it doesn't mean they lost their sexual desire. Okay? So they have desire, but they don't have sex with the wife. So where they go? <laughs> 24% they do by themselves. <laughs> okay, 24%. And 36% they go to prostitute. <laughs> And 40%, it's interesting, I have no idea. They said, I don't have sex, however, I eject. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know about the last one. First one is easy, right? Yeah. But second one is, yeah, I was still a prostitute. Again, in this country, it's, it's illegal too, anyway. And last one is, I have no idea. But they, they go, or they do stuff. So that's it. So uh, it's, it's really emphasizing that, you know, those husbands who don't have sex with wife, they still have desire, they do something to, you know, de cope with it, right? That's what it says. Yeah. And da -da 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 yeah, so that's what it is, okay? And also, okay, so they're analyzing like this for about man, okay? Men, why they don't have sex? Because... Most of young men, right, including adult, uh, elder men too, they enjoy other activities, something else, more than sex. You know, for example, like watching YouTube, or do some hobbies. You know, if you like uh, some music, uh, musician, you just go to their live. You know what I mean? So they have many hobbies, activities besides sex with, with the ladies, right, or or, or wives. Therefore. They spend their time there more than sex. That's the things it says. It's kind of understandable, to be honest. Yeah. Because I personally prioritize workout first. Yeah. Go to the gym. That's one of the most important things in my life now. 
because of this corona things now you know tokyo is shut down the old gym anyway, anyway but yeah therefore i want to wake up early every day because i go to the gym in the morning right so that's why i cannot stay late therefore i want to go out you know what i mean so uh that's gonna change you know connected i want to manage my meal therefore i don't want to spend outside for eating something because i cannot calculate the calories and stuff right nutrition macro you know like a nutrition therefore i want to see inside you know what i mean so uh, it's kind of my hobby or my life like uh, you know hobby is definitely influencing my relationship i think mm. so i kind of understand this but again it doesn't mean they don't have they don't desire and also i'm sure that the smart devices that's definitely uh influence too look uh, you know, when you're when you're a kid the you know like uh, those dirty pictures or porn whatever it was difficult to find. You know, like, uh, I'm sure if you're a Japanese, you have this experience. Like, when you're walking outside, especially if you're from a countryside, like me. If you're walking outside on the way to, on the way to school, you know, junior high school, whatever, middle school. You know, on the road, you know, someone throw away some, like, a dirty magazine. You see it, you start kicking it with your friends, you know, and then start checking inside, you know. You don't touch, you feel it's dirty, and it is dirty literally, right? But you just are kicking it, you know, like this, and then you're checking it inside, and then I just, you know, be excited, right? I'm sure those kids, like my age, like a 30 years old, upper 30 years old, I'm sure they have this kind of uh, experience, you know, when they are young, because uh, some people throw away the, those magazines, okay, on the street. But nowadays, come on, if you have smart devices, and if you have Wi-Fi, you can watch porn for free. <laughs> Seriously, there is no value anymore. Seriously, no more value. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's definitely influencing, influencing that, you know, sexless, I think. Mm. When the time there's no, like those like smart devices, you have to have sex to cope with the desire, right? So you have a wife, then you uh, have sex with the wife. But if you can watch unlimited porn, <laughs> I can understand. And also prostitute, that's one of the reasons too. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how my that's how I think. And what he says. Alright, next, ladies. They go Lee. That's about your friends. Okay. So oh, okay. it's just straightforward. Okay, it says the reason why the Japanese ladies they don't want to have sex is because they don't satisfy. <laughs> Okay, so they ask questions. Do you have any problems about sex with your partner? Fifty-four percent says I don't have. I don't. Ha I don't have anything. It's fine, right? However, the rest of these forty-six percent, they said many reasons. Many reasons. I don't want to even say it because it's too detailed. <laughs> However, one word not satisfied <laughs> yeah they're not satisfied that's what it says yeah so they have many problems with uh yeah they don't match with a husband or how the husband is doing bad job therefore they cannot satisfy that's why they don't have sex it says so so okay because look at this, only 1.2% says others, but rest of that, you know, 46%, many detailed reasons. <laughs> yeah, I cannot read this, it's too dirty. Anyway, so maybe your friends, he, or they don't have, you know, sex or sex less, right? With their, their, their husband, uh, wives, right? So it seems like your friends are bad sex. <laughs> Ask them. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it. And also, um, okay, let's go back to it, okay? So, again, so this one, right? So, numbers goes up, right? Mm. So, I am so sure that this time, the 15 years, 2004 to 2020, the drastic change is definitely the smart devices. Because of smart devices, we can have we have access to the information, networks, uh, communities, and then many AI 
and also like uh, IT technology, uh, the, it gets better, better day by day, right? So platform shows up and app shows up. So uh, we can access to other people. We can connect to other people very easily compared to 2004. I still remember that because of that year I went to America. It took time to me send a message to my mom. It cost what five dollars to one phone call. That kind of days, no, 2004. And of course, there is no smartphone. You know, we have a phone like this, you know. But nowadays, we have those things. That's why, if they want to have sex outside, they have access. I think that's one of the reason too. Of course, for 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 uh, for males, they have devices. They, they therefore they can watch porn, whatever, so they can do you know things. But same time for female, if they feel like they wanna, let let's say the forty six percent of the ladies, they don't satisfy. That's why they don't do anything sexless, right? So, but it doesn't mean they lost that desire too, like a man, right? So, where do they go? It could be porn, I guess, but I think they go outside to find other man. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't find that, you know, the cheating, the things about the ratio. I think I did some videos to watch this anyway. Yeah, according to that, there are many ladies are cheating too. Mm. So, I think they do outside. Mm. That's why they're sexless. Mm. But anyway, yeah, so... I don't know. Let's go back to your questions. So if your friends want to, you know, solve the problem about sex less, just get better. <laughs> that's it. Seriously, that's our voice. Just be good at it. <laughs> to be honest, I never had this kind of problem in my life. Never. Yeah, never. Seriously, never sex less kind of things. As far as I recall. Yeah, so I think I'm good at it. Sorry, sorry, just joking, joking, okay. <laughs> anyway, that's it. All right, Tin Lee, what do you think? Anyway, let me know what you think. Yeah, and also let me know about your country too, about this, uh, you know, divorce, marriage, and sex and stuff. Yeah, I wanna know. Because I know that some countries, they have sex every day, like Greece, you know? The, the comparison of this Greece and Japan was funny. They have sex every two days, yeah, I saw this stat before, I forgot. But Japan, average uh, average number was once a two weeks. Yeah, or once a month, something like this. So it's big gap. Anyway, what do you think about your country? Let me know. Anyway, if you like it, thumbs up, yeah? And also, subscribe. See you tomorrow. Bye.